One of the biggest limitations during a race in F125 are the tires. They dictate your race strategy along with your overall pace. This is the only part of the car that should be making contact with the track and how much grip and performance they give you can really make or break your race. In this video, I'm gonna run through the optimal tire temperatures in F125. I'll also look at how tire pressures affect your temperature and grip and ultimately recommend the best tire pressures to use in every race in F125. But starting at the very top, your tire temperatures vary throughout a race based on a few key factors. The compound of tire you're using as each compound wears differently and operates at a different temperature. Your car setup, which has a direct impact on the temperatures with more aggressive car setups heating the tires faster. Within your setup, the tire pressures have one of the biggest impacts on the temperature and can be used to increase or decrease heat buildup. There's also how hard you're pushing. As you drive closer to the limit or push harder, you're gonna put more load through your tires and increase the temperature buildup. And finally, if you're following cars closely, you're not getting that cool, fresh air onto your tires. Instead, the warm air from the rear of the car in front will also add to temperature build. So with all of those factors considered, ultimately, do you want hot or cold tires? Which one performs best? Well, every single tire compound in F125 has its own operating window or sweet spot. Ensuring the tires are within this operating window will get the maximum amount of performance from that tire. They will also wear at a slower rate. If your tires are too cold, they're not going to deliver enough grip. This will cause your car to understeer into and through corners and slide around in the mid to late corner phase. This understeer and sliding can really spike your surface temperatures and it will also cause excess tire wear as your tires are sliding about on the track surface. If your tires are too hot, they're going to suffer from pretty similar characteristics to cold tires. The grip starts to fall away once you get out of that optimum temperature range and your car again begins to slide around, which further adds to the heat again leading to excess tire wear. But what is that optimum temperature for the tires in F125? Well, each of the six compounds differs ever so slightly in its ideal temperature window. With the softer tires, the C5s, the C6s, they work at lower temperatures compared to the harder tires which need to get hotter. Wet weather tires also have lower optimum working windows. On screen now, you're gonna see a quick graph which shows kind of the minimum and maximum temperatures you wanna be aiming for when you're using each compound and that optimal sweet spot in the middle. During a race, you should always aim to have your tires in this optimum window. The closer to the middle you get, the more performance you're gonna get from that tire and the slower they'll wear. During qualifying though, tire management is ever so slightly different. Throughout the lap, you're gonna be pushing at a 100%, meaning your tires will be getting hotter and hotter and hotter throughout a whole lap. Also, normally qualifying laps are done on the softest tire compound possible, meaning they're gonna heat up faster than harder tires. This leads to two scenarios. First one, you start your lap with tires slightly cooler than optimum. Then as the lap progresses, the tires heat up and come into that perfect temperature window for the majority of the lap. Alternatively, you can start the lap with your tires in the perfect window. However, towards the end of the lap, tires are gonna to start to overheat a little bit, losing you some time in the final sector. Typically, I prefer to start with the temperatures just below optimum at the start of a qualifying lap. That means taking the soft tire, for example, if it's a C4 compound, which operates perfectly at about 85 degrees C, I'll look to start the lap with the tire temperatures say around 80 degrees. This gives a little bit of room for the temperatures to increase throughout the lap before they start to drop off again towards the very end. Now, it's all well and good knowing about tire temperatures, but how do you actually check on them? Well, on track at any point in F125, you can check your temperatures using the MFD, which can be enabled by pressing the MFD button on your controller or your steering wheel. This will show the tire temperatures, giving you a live readout, and you'll see you have three temperatures for each corner of the car. As a side note, if you're also racing using a steering wheel with a screen, like the SimLab Mercedes AMG F1 wheel that I'm currently using, you may also be able to see the live telemetry from your tire temperatures on your wheel. Now, you'll see three different temperature sensors for each wheel. These represent the tire surface, tire core, and the brake temps. The bottom number is the brake temperatures. Hotter brakes can result in hotter tires. And you'll also want your brakes to be in the right performance window, just like the tires, which is typically indicated by that green brake icon. The top number is your tire core. This is the inside of the tire, and it's the readout you're gonna to wanna to pay most attention to. This number is the most stable of the three, as the core temperature doesn't fluctuate as quickly. Instead, it builds or falls over time. And that middle number represents the tire surface. You'll see this number changing quickly as you brake and corner. 
spinning your wheels for example or pushing the tires too hard mid corner will cause the surface temperature to spike while driving on a really long straight will cause them to cool down. You don't really want to be spiking the surface temperature too high otherwise this can lead to overheating and that dreaded loss of grip. Now I mentioned one of the biggest things that affects your tire performance and temperature gain is your tire pressure setup. This is one area of your car setup that has a direct correlation to tire performance. Other areas of your setup such as your suspension and aero will also affect tire temps and wear maybe not quite as directly as your tire pressures. Tire pressures inflate the tires more and this will have a few effects. First of those is that the tire will balloon more and that means less of the tire surface is actually touching the track. This will result in higher top speeds as there is less friction between the tire and the track surface. It also results in less overall grip and traction due to that smaller contact patch. The result of less friction means your car is going to feel a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more responsive. And finally, higher pressures can cause your tires to run slightly cooler. If you do the opposite and lower your pressures, you're going to get a lot of opposite effects happening due to the tires becoming more deflated. Your friction and drag will increase as more of the tire is touching the track surface and this can limit your top speed. This will lead to slower response as well when you turn the wheel and a ever so slightly more sluggish feel. You'll get better traction though and mechanical grip as you've actually got more of the tire rubber touching the track and due to that larger contact patch the tires are going to heat up quicker. This is why quite often in the setups that we release we recommend increasing your tire pressures to try to lower the tire temperatures which can get really high in this year's game. So with all that in mind what are the best pressures to use? Well in previous games running all of your tires at maximum is quite often the best option as it helps lower the overall temperature build up. In F125 this trend does continue unfortunately and the tires run just as hot as in last year's game if not a touch hotter. For many tracks I'd recommend maximum tire pressures for race conditions. This will lower temp build up as much as possible making the tires last for a longer race stint. This recommendation does change a little bit for qualifying though. Across a single lap tire wear really isn't something you should be thinking about. Instead, a qualifying lap is all about performance. Lower tire pressures grant more mechanical grip and traction and can actually result in faster single lap times. Many time trial setups or even some of our pro F125 setups use minimum tire pressures on the rear specifically to really increase that traction and get a better drive out of the corners. You can change the tire pressures between qualifying and the race under Park Verme rules and this means often lowering the tire pressures for quali runs specifically at the rear and then increasing them back up for the race is the best option. Now while I recommend with max tire pressures for a good majority of the races it isn't always the right approach. In F125 the trend is for the rear tires to heat up faster than the fronts and to counter this I often recommend setting the front pressures lower than the rears. This will bring the tire temperatures closer at both front and rear during a race allowing them to wear at a more even rate. Another scenario are slow tracks such as Monaco. Extremely slow circuits don't put as much load through the tyres, meaning temperatures will be lower than at faster tracks such as Spain. At these circuits we can set lower pressures, resulting in better traction which can also be key when accelerating from slow speeds. Now tyre pressures are a part of your overall car setup and other parts of your setup can affect your tyre wear and temperature build up as well. For example, running more neutral camber will bring more of the tyre into contact with the track, adding extra drag, and increasing your toe in or out will also add drag as the tyres scrub across the surface. Your on throttle differential can affect how easily your rear wheels spin, while the suspension setup can have a big overall impact to your car balance and how hard the tyres are worked. So getting your car setup just right really is key. We have a range of car setups on our YouTube channel which are designed to be stable and have good tyre wear during a race. So they would be your first port of call but if you are kind of trying to push the limits of your car we also have our pro f125 setups which are more finely tuned for esports competitions league racing and getting the most performance from your car if you find our setups on youtube uh, you're kind of pushing the limits of them go and check out our pro setups and they also come in race and tire strategy data allowing you to kind of get a head start on what the best race strategies are now i hope this video has been helpful and kind of brought tire temperatures, tire pressures into the light a little bit more. Let me know in the comments below if like many of us you're struggling with rear temperature build up in particular and what your solution for that problem is. But as always guys stay safe, stay sexy and I'll see you on track.